So when I sent out that request yesterday for questions about the homework, uh, the only one I got back was 31 and 32. Everything on this page is pretty manageable as long as you're looking at your notes and thinking back to what we did in class on Friday. As for 31, we've got two functions, 3 to the x power, that's the exponential, and 5 to the x, or 5x, that's the linear. And we're asked to estimate the values of x for which f of x is greater than g of x. So let's just make note of the intersection points here. And that looks like it's about x equal 0.5. And this one looks like it's about x equal 2.5. So if this right here, the exponential is f of x, we can see that f of x is above g of x until x equals 0.5 and then it's below g of x until x equals 2.5 and then it's above. So estimate the values of x for which f of x is greater than g of x. Um, let's see. Everything from negative infinity to uh, let's see about like that and then also everything and then also x greater than 2.5 so and you could even you can leave this off you could just say x less than 0.5 and uh, x greater than 2.5 and the inequality notation is nice but if you just wrote me a little sentence explaining that I would accept that too and then for what values uh, of x for which g of x is greater than f of x well that's everything in between right uh, this part where the straight line is above the curve is the only place that the function g of x is greater than the function f of x. So with inequality notation, we could say uh, between 0.5 and 0.25. That decimal should not be there. But again, inequality notation is fantastic. If you could just write me a little sentence, I'd accept that too. And then number 32 we can, uh, why can't the value of a in an exponential function be zero? Well, that should be fairly obvious. Here is here's an exponential function with a value zero times two raised to the x power. And what number do you think it's going to get back? Are we going to get back zero? doesn't matter what you put in for x, you're always going to get 0. So that's not really an exponential function. That's a straight line at, at a y equals 0. And why can't the b value be equal to 1? OK, well, let's check the uh, table here. Let's make a1 and b1. And we will go ahead and check the table. And look, now our y value is always 1. So there's no growth or decay. It's just a constant value. So if you have a constant value, either at 0 or 1, or even you could change the a value to 5, and then you're going to get a constant value of 5 everywhere. But the point is, is that it's constant. When you let b be 1, everything is constant. When you let a equal 0, everything is constantly 0. So that's why those aren't exponential functions.